The flourishing state of Jerusalem will be when the city of Medina will be desolate. The desolate state of Medina will be when the Great War comes. The outbreak of the Great War will be followed by the conquest of Constantinople. And the conquest of Constantinople will be followed by the Antichrist coming forth. That's what the Saudis are doing and also in Mecca. In addition to that, Medina has no status in the world today. It plays no role, none whatsoever, in the affairs of the world of Islam. None, zero, nor in international affairs. It's in a state of forlorn desolation with buildings being destroyed. So we are on the doorstep of the Malhama. We know from Hadith that harm cannot come to the holy city of Medina and that the Antichrist, the Dajjal, will not be able to enter it and refuge is to be sought in the city during the end times. So what the Hadith is referring to in terms of ruins may mean political and economical ruins. Uh, Crown Prince uh, Mohammed bin Salman, which we call MBS, knows exactly what he's doing. And uh, in fact, King Salman is not uh, uh, ruling. Who's ruling is actually MBS. There was a famous uh, Davos in the Desert conference where uh, the new uh, <laughs> crown prince, in fact, and the new leadership was plugging the future of Saudi Arabia as envisioned 2030. Who is he and why do we know so little about him? Where has he been all this time? Why have we not heard of him until now? And who has chipped him? Who's brainwashed him? It was the US, of course, because the US has laid down conditions for the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to be king before his father's death on one term, and that is to pay absolute obedience to the United States and Israel and carry out whatever they ask him to do. It marks the beginning of the rise of the Antichrist. He will control kingdoms, which will in turn control the world. The Antichrist will sit at the temple in Jerusalem and he will declare to the whole world that he is God. My will be done. Three conditions have been given to Mohammed bin Salman to fulfill from the United States of America. Those three conditions are number one, work to settle all Gaza residents in North Sinai as an alternative homeland and Saudi Arabia along with the United Arab Emirates must afford the funds. The second condition, get rid of Hamas and whoever supports it. It's about time that the United States uh, said, and I'm glad they said it, you know, this is the capital, we recognize it. And the third condition, getting Sanafir Island from Egypt. You see, the last condition would make the Gulf of Aqaba international waters instead of Egyptian territorial waters, which would facilitate Israeli shipping to and from the port of Elat. It would also help Israel to carry out a project planned to operate in parallel to the Suez Canal. In other words, do everything to destroy Saudi Arabia and support Israel. In April 2016, Saudi Arabia announced Vision 2030, an ambitious economic plan intended to confirm the kingdom's status as the heart of the Arab world. The basic objective of this 
vision was to decrease the dependency on oil as a resource of revenue. Again, Prince Salman was the architect of this vision. Mohammed bin Salman appears to be firmly in control of Saudi military strategy, foreign policy and economic planning. He introduced taxes on expatriates. He also spoke about the moderate Islam, a step towards moderation. MBS even clipped the wings of once feared religious police with no longer any powers of arrest and are seen to be falling in line with the new regime. Today, cinemas are open for business. Only a decade ago, they were closed. And even Saudis are now celebrating holidays, such as Valentine's. All this is happening at full speed. Do you smell Americanization and the desolation of Medina? We have to figure out what's going on. There's something going on and it's bad. There's a problem. There's something wrong. Something's going on. We've got to figure out what's going on. Bomb, 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 bomb. We have to find out what's going on. I called the mayor. I said, what's going on? What's going on? What is going on, Mika? President Obama, where he refuses even to use the term of what's going on. I said, what's going on? We have to find out what is going on. Donald Trump says, I have great confidence in King Salman and the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. They know exactly what they are doing. Thank you.